the uh, vantage point of the Nets there from the first base side. Dylan Dingler stings one. And that's an Apo Taco on Cinco de Mayo. First run of the season for West Michigan. Powered by Dingler, the cleanup hitting catcher. This guy's a freak athlete. Dylan Dingler is a catcher whose secondary position is center field. That doesn't make any sense. He ran a 60 yard dash in less than 6.6 .6 seconds. That's freaky fast, much like the sandwich shop that's a couple of blocks away. But Dylan Dingler, he's got that type of power to punch it the other way. And at 98 miles an hour, that thing got out of there quickly going the other way. Dingler unloads to left. William Sutton back at the wall. Goodbye. Here's Dingler, first pitch from Percival. Fastball high, 1-0. Oh. Pitch from Percival, here it comes. Fastball outside, the 2-0. Change up, bottom of the zone, called a strike, it's two and one. Good pitch by Percival. Here's Percival's two one. Fouled straight back, two balls, two strikes. Percival's kick, the two two pitch, fastball, hoo hoo hoo, just a little outside. Three balls and two strikes on Dylan Dingler. Dylan Dingler's three two pitch. Swing and a pop foul, first base side. Let's do it again. Cole Percival's payoff pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep in the air to right field. Back goes Shaps. He looks up, and this ball is over and gone. <laughs> Dylan Dingler has done it here in the ninth. It's a Dingler dinger. We're all tied at one. You knew it off the bat. You just had a feeling it was going to sneak over the fence. Cole Percival was dominant all night long. Here's Dylan Dingler, the batter for the Whitecaps. First pitch, Dingler swings. He hits one high in the air, deep to left field. Back goes the left fielder, Schneeman. He looks up. That ball is over and gone. Dylan Dingler has a dinger. It's a two-run shot here in the fourth, and it's a 2-0 Whitecaps lead. Fourth home run of the season for Dingler. The first hit of the ball game goes over 400 feet off the bat. 3-1. Swing and a high fly ball crushed to center field. Back goes Wade at the warning track. He reaches up, and it's over and gone. Dingler, dinger number five, a two-run shot for some insurance here in the seventh. Seven-nothing, Whitecaps on top. We were talking to Dylan about his home run from a couple of nights ago, and even he wasn't convinced that he had gotten all of it. It was 100-plus miles per hour off of his bat, but even then... That one goes 416 feet. And it's flush with home plate. Both toes pointing towards Dylan Dingler. Here's the 0-2 offer. Turned around sharply down the third baseline. This is trouble. It's back and it's gone. Just nipped the left field wall corner. And a leadoff solo shot for Dylan Dingler to put the Whitecaps back in front to begin the fourth. A Dingler Dinger, as it's dubbed for West Michigan. Uh, Guy's got real power. An injury riddled past. 2 2. A towering blast. Deep to left field. Shaps stares up, and that thing drops onto Buttles. Oh my goodness. Dylan Dingler. A grand slam for the Tigers. 32nd overall draft pick a year ago. Dingler, the ultimate menace in this series against the Loons. 
now has eight hits in three games, six of them for extra bases. He has eight total bases tonight, and it's 11-1 West Michigan. That one likely did land in the road. 2-2 <laughs> two -two pitch. Swing and a drive out to left. Go over going is the left fielder Armenteros. He looks up and it's over and gone. You got to be kidding me with this team. Dylan Dingler has his eighth dinger. And this ballpark is going crazy. Six runs in the sixth inning. Torkelson and Dingler go back to back. 9-4 West Michigan. These guys are unbelievable. And here's the 2-1 in the air to right center. Back goes Quan, warning track, and that ball is on the top of the wall and gone. That's a home run. Hit on top and bounced over. Dingler continues two triples, a homer and double in this series, and here he has a two to nothing lead. But he is one strong young man. The Jackson foes all clad in purple on their feet. I tell you folks, the Tigers have something with Green, Dingler, Torkelson. Their young pitching. In about three years, mark my words, they'll be a very good team in the Central Division. Was in high A Frederick in 2019. 1 1 pitch. Dingler shoots one deep right field. Stower is going back, looking up. That ball's gone. Touch them all time. Dylan Dingler, that's his second. Make it a 6 to 2 game. as Torkelson and at the plate is Dingler and the pitch from Gordon is belted high in the air in a deep left field away back Beatty track wall grand slam for Erie Dylan Dingler brings them all home and makes it a 7-2 Seawolves advantage Dylan Dingler ambushes Gordon on the first pitch it was a fastball he was sitting on it and right over the wall, right near the temperature sign. Oh, we see the count. The righty beginning to toss in the Richmond pen as Dingler cracks one deep left field. That ball's gone. Touch him all time. Dylan Dingler, number four. And Erie back up by two runs. It's 5 3. A leadoff solo home run for Dylan Dingler here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Boy, that had to feel good for Dingler, who's got hits now in consecutive at-bats tonight. That got up and out in a hurry. And for Dingler, his first home run since July 24th at Binghamton. 107 off the bat, went 397. 